guys! Welcome back! I am so happy that you are back with me. Uh, this video is not going to be on a eye look or anything. It's going to be the battle of two drugstore concealers. I have the Maybelline Fit Me in the color um, 25 and then I also have the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And I'm going to see how this um, helps with my hyperpigmentation underneath my eyes and around my mouth, uh, a little bit on my chin. Um, and see how that wears throughout the day. I want, if it makes my wrinkles more stand out more, or um, if it fades, if you are interested in seeing these two battle it out, please keep on watching. I put my foundation on, I did my eyes. After I apply my eyeshadow and eyeliner, I like to go in with the concealer underneath my eyes to kind of give it a nice canvas look as well and give it a nice clean look. Okay, so but before I start, I want to um, talk about the Maybelline Fit Me uh, Concealer. Now this is in the color 25 Medium. Um, it says that the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer is a natural coverage. It also is an oil-free coverage and it conceals the redness and pigmentation that you want to cover up. It is about like a $6.50 range price tag on there. It is like a point, uh, 6.8 milliliter. I'm not quite sure what uh, how many ounces that calculates to. However, this is, it's supposed to be an oil-free concealer. It doesn't say, you know, what type of coverage it is, if it's a medium coverage or a full coverage. That is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Okay, so I'm gonna apply this color on the right side. And then the other uh, concealer that I'm gonna be trying is the ColourPop No Filter uh, Concealer. It says that it is a lightweight concealer. It also is gives a full coverage conceal with dark areas under the eyes and hyperpigmentation. It says it has the soft blurring uh, pigments um, that help reflect um, the dark areas and it also gives you a matte finish so this price ranges around $6.99 anyhow so this is a 0.14 ounce so that this concealer I will apply on the left side of my face so okay so now I'm gonna zoom in to uh, get a closer look of how I'm applying it. I will show you, I'm not afraid. I do have some really dark um, circles here. I also have a little bit of puffiness underneath my eye. Hopefully that'll conceal it. And I also have some wrinkles in the inner corner part of my eyes. So hopefully those don't show up more than what they're supposed to. Okay, so here is a close-up look. As you can see, I have these dark circles. I have some puffiness. Anyway, okay, so we're gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me right here underneath my eye. I'm going to apply that. Now, it does suggest on the website to apply it with a dabbing motion with your finger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply it with the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. <laughs> It is blending out nicely and it is covering. If you could see the difference between this side and this side, I still see a little bit of the dark circles, but if I wanna build it up, I, I, you know, I could definitely do that. And I am gonna apply a, a drugstore powder. I'm not gonna apply it with my Laura Mercier because I, I, this is all kind of drugstore products that I have that I am comparing. I wanna stick with that theme. So I am going to apply the powder I'm going to apply it with the CoverGirl translucent powder that underneath my eye and I don't like to bake too much but I am going to apply that just to set it in. There you go. So that's the side. So far so good. There's no separation. There is no creasing so far and um, it covers pretty pretty nicely. This is, I would not say that this is a full coverage but it doesn't say that on the website anyway. The next one I am going to do, the ColourPop No Filter. Now, I, I think I forgot to mention the color of this uh, ColourPop concealer. It is the medium tan. So I am going to apply that. Okay, it's very. it looks very creamy, just like the other concealer. I'm just gonna apply that there. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my uh, Real Techniques on the other end of the sponge so that I don't use the same, so I don't use the same side as I did with the Maybe Maybelline concealer. Okay, so I'm just gonna dab that in there. So this looks good. Now this has more of a dewy 
look to it than the Maybelline Fit Me. I guess this is what they're talking about with the blur, uh, soft blurring uh, pigments. As far as the coverage goes, you know, again, I still see a little bit here, but again, I can build this up if I want to. So far, it does blend out very nicely. It's not caking. And I do see a little bit more coverage here. I mean, just in this area. I think for the most part, it is diffusing the dark area here um, that I can see. So I'm going to apply the powder underneath my eye on this side. Okay, so here is both sides. So this is the ColourPop No Filter, and this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Please comment, see which one you think has more coverage, what, you know, if you see a difference. So, okay, I am going to stop the camera and I'm gonna finish my face and then I'll go over my thoughts. Okay, so now that I have my face on, whoops, gotta fix my hair here. I finished the rest of the look. I wanted to give my thoughts on the two concealers. I do wanna say that the No Filter Concealer by ColourPop, it has the diffusing pigments in there and I did notice that. It was kind of hard to describe, but it does give this dewy look that kind of diffuses um, the dark circles that are underneath my eyes um, and also on the corner of my mouth. So, so far, what I've seen um, in the last, you know, 10, 15 minutes when I applied the concealers is that the um, concealer on the, by the color pop does separate on the corner. Now, I'm not seeing that around the eye look, but I do see that around the corner of my mouth and that's just within the t first 15 minutes. However, you know, that's not something that's gonna bother me so much. Maybe I didn't, I didn't blend it out enough. I, I don't know, like, you know, this is something that I would have to continue to test out. On the other side, I do see that um, it hasn't separated on the corner of my mouth by the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I do see that this is still going well. And again, it's only been 15 minutes after I applied the concealer. So throughout the day, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check in and I'm going to show you what it's looking like as I go out and do my errands. And you know, I will be going to work this afternoon. So right now, time is 10.35. Okay, so um, I will check in. Anyway, so, um, so hang on, I'll see you in a little bit. I said I was gonna check in around three but i didn't it's like more like six o'clock anyway uh, so far this is separated and this you could see where it creased anyway okay i'll see you in a little bit okay guys it is actually oh i don't have my phone it is about 9 15 at night I just got home from work. Okay, so the Maybelline Fit Me is on this side, and on the right side, and the ColourPop is on the left. So I am just showing you before I take off all my makeup, because I'm exhausted. It looks like you could see, I don't know, I'm gonna zoom in here. You can see makeup separated here in the crease, but that's something that, okay, I have wrinkles. So during the day, and then of course at night when I get home from work, which is about 9.30, not the concealer's fault. Anyway, but it looks like it stayed um, pretty good around my under eye here. Did pretty good here on the corner. Oh, sorry, you can't even see that. On the corner of my mouth, right in this area. Anyway, I think overall the concealers did a pretty good job minus, you know, the separation of the concealer. So I really didn't notice too much of a difference other than color. The ColourPop uh, No Filter Concealer did cover a little bit better than the Maybelline Fit Me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I hope to see you on the next one. I am going to bed. So we'll see you on the next video. Ciao.